This is Sunday School for November the 6th, which is a Sunday morning in 2022. And we're continuing on with the first missionary journey. If you will remember from Wednesday night's lesson, the people were worshiping and fasting and praying in the city of Antioch at the church there where they first called the church Christian. And the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me, Paul and Barnabas. I have a special work that they need to do. And so Paul and Barnabas went and got on a ship and they went to the island of Cyprus. They took along with them a young man named, remember, John Mark. They went to the island of Cyprus. They preached the whole way across the island. They run into a sorcerer whose name is Elymas or Bar-Jesus. He has two names. And the sorcerer or witch tries to stop God's word from happening. And Paul says he's going to become blind, and he becomes blind. And the governor of Cyprus, whose name is Sergius Paulus, comes to know Jesus as his Savior. Then they left the island of Cyprus, and they moved to Perga, across the Mediterranean Sea, back up into Perga. When they got there, John Mark said he was tired of doing this, and he went back home to Jerusalem. Now there's just Paul and Barnabas. And the first city that they preached in when they got there was called Pisidian Antioch. Um, whenever they got there, they told about Jesus, how Jesus died on the cross and rose up in three days, right? And is sitting at the right hand of God in heaven. And many people believed. They said, next week, next Sabbath, you come back again and tell us more about this Jesus. And the next Sabbath, Almost the whole city showed up to listen to Paul and Barnabas. The problem was that even though a lot of people believed, the Jews became very jealous. We've been having our synagogue here, this synagogue where we worship God all these years. And the whole city has never showed up to listen to us one time. And these guys have only been in town for one week and all the city has showed up to listen to them preach. We are jealous. And they were jealous. So um, they kicked Paul and Barnabas out of town. Out. You're out of here. You cannot preach in our town anymore. Out, out, out of Pisidian Antioch. You can't be here. And um, when they got there, when they left, they shook the dust off their feet. That's what Jesus said to do. He said, if people won't accept the message, you just shake the dust off your feet, which means just let them go. Okay, you don't want us. We don't want you either. We'll just leave. But Paul and Barnabas shook the dust off their feet, but they had in the back of their mind, they were coming back because there were a lot of believers in that city. So they shook the dust off and said, okay, we're done with you. We, we won't bother you anymore. And they shook the dust off and then they went to the next town, which is called Iconium. And in Iconium, um, they preached in the synagogue like they always did. The synagogue was the Jewish house of worship. And many, many Jews and Gentiles became believers in Iconium. But those same Jews from Pisidian Antioch showed up and poisoned the minds of the people. They said, these miracles Paul and Barnabas are doing, they're not really miracles. It would have happened anyways. But God kept giving them miracles to confirm that they were really God's people. So the people in the city of Iconium became divided. Some of them were with the Jews because the Jews had poisoned their minds. Some of them were with Paul and Barnabas. And... The Jews got the people so worked up that they said, let's stone Paul and Barnabas. Do you remember whenever Stephen was stoned, how they killed him with those rocks? That's what they're going to do to Paul. So Paul and Barnabas decided to leave town. They went to two, the two next towns, which were Lystra and Derby, to preach there. When they got to the town of Lystra, there was a man there who had been crippled in his feet ever since he came out of his mother's womb. Ever since he was born, he had never been able to use his feet. And as Paul was preaching, his eyes were right on Paul the whole time. And Paul recognized in him the faith for him to be healed. 
And so he said to the man, stand up on your feet. So the man jumped up and started to walk. And when that happened, the people in Lystra said, the gods have come. The gods, Zeus and Hermes are here. Our gods that we worship have shown up in our town. We have this temple to Zeus right outside of the city, but Zeus himself has showed up. They thought that Barnabas was Zeus and that Paul was Hermes. And they went and got wreaths of flowers and garland and um, plants and put them around Paul and Barnabas' neck. And Paul and Barnabas said, no, we're not gods. We're humans just like you. Well, take this thing off my neck. I don't want a garland around my neck. And then the priest of Zeus got into this situation and he's brought a bull. He was going to sacrifice a bull to Paul and Barnabas because he thought that they were Zeus and Hermes. The gods have come among us. And Paul says, be quiet. Let me tell you. I came to tell you about the God who gave you the rain yesterday, about the God who made your crops grow, about the God who created this whole world. Everything in this world was created by his hand. Let me tell you about the true God. I am just a human. Barnabas is just a human. I want to tell you the good news about Jesus. It was a very, very hard thing trying to do it and just about that time those Jews who were poisoning minds came to Lystra too and they won the crowd over and they said let's stone Paul so they picked up big rocks and they started throwing them at him and throwing them at him until they were sure he was dead and then they dragged his body outside of the town and left it there well, we're done with Paul and Barnabas, right? Because Paul's dead. Well, all the believers in the city made a circle around the dead body or supposedly dead body of Paul. And Paul got up and went back into the city. He wasn't dead at all. They thought he was dead or God brought him back to life, but he wasn't dead. The story is not done. So they gathered around him and they went back to the city. The next day, Paul and Barnabas moved on to the, the city called Derby, And lots of people believed in Derby. And then Paul and Barnabas did the strangest thing. They went back to those same cities where they had been persecuted, where they had been stoned, where they wanted to stone them, where they said all the bad things about them. They went to Lystra where he had been stoned. They went to Iconium, where they wanted to stone him. They went to Antioch. And when they were in each of those towns, they strengthened the believers. They encouraged the people to keep believing in Jesus. And they appointed elders to take care of the churches that were getting started in those three cities. Then they went down to Pergam, Perga again and got on their ship and rode the ship back to Antioch. And then they called everybody together at the church where they had started from and said, let us tell you what God has done through us with the Gentiles. And they stayed there a long time. The memory verse comes from Matthew 5, 11 to 12a. And this is what it says. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you, that's pick on you, hurt you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. This is Jesus talking. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. Let's pray. Dear Father God, even though Paul and Barnabas were getting beat up, even though they were getting lied about, they were still able to rejoice and be glad because they knew that we really don't live on earth very long, but we're going to be living in heaven and you will reward them for all the bad stuff that happened to them. Help us, O oh Lord, to um, speak boldly about you to family and to friends, to schoolmates, and to not shrink back. In Jesus' name, amen.